In this video, I'll show you how to convert your PNG file to a vector file in Adobe Photoshop. So this is going to be the most up-to-date method of doing this, and we're going to start by clicking on File, New, and Creating a New Document, and then clicking on Import Image. Now from here, just go and select the PNG that you want to convert to a vector file, and then select Done. So once you have your image placed on the screen like this, come down to layers in the bottom right hand side and you should have a background layer and also this second layer that we've just created. So now all you simply need to do is left click on your image and you should see a toolbar at the bottom down here. So go and click on select subject and that should create an outline around your image. Now all you simply need to do is click on the rectangle tool in the left navigation. Now if you don't already have the rectangle selected, then just right click and click on rectangle. Now if you move your mouse cursor over to the right of the image, you should be able to right click and click on make work path. Now for the tolerance set this to 1.0 and press OK and as you can see that should draw some blue dots around your image. Now all we simply need to do is right click on this selection tool down here, make sure direct selection tool is selected and then we're going to once again right click somewhere on the image, click on create vector mask and just like that we have now converted our PNG to vector. So what you can do is just come over to the selection tool and you can now resize this and you see that it won't lose its quality and that's because it's now a vector format. Now to export this, you need to click on file in the top navigation, select save a copy. And now as save is type, you can go and select your vector format. So I'm just going to select EPS, which is vector format, give your file a name and then press save. Then press OK. And just like that, we've now saved our vector file. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.